the great debate was it gonna be canton chinese restaurant dim sum weekends <laughs> whatever that means dope freshy or monsoon authentic indian little caesars was on the mind but i'm trying to lay off the carbs today i'm trying to keep it a little more meat based with some other things that aren't so bad but anyways What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Who really know? It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. So because there's titles on these videos, you guys will know that I chose the Indian food, authentic Indian food. Now, I've never had it before here. And also I think I've never eaten Indian food on my channel. So that's what pulled me and intrigued me and i am excited to eat it i'm very very hungry but i did want to keep it a little bit down in the carbs or just eat something that seemed healthier a little more meat based i guess but i still have carbs in this meal but i'm not going to show you them yet because i don't have the food yet and when i do have the food i'll show you but i don't want to tell you yet i want it to be a surprise but anyways the boys are inside chefing her up for me they said about 15 minutes and I'm back in the whip, just chilling in a high populated area, which I will evacuate once we have the food because I hate eating in parking lots where people are breathing down your neck, okay? So very soon I will procure the sack, get to the bag, and then we're gonna move to another stealth location. And then we're going to dive deep into this Indian sort of small feast. It was a little expensive, but not that crazy, but also a little expensive. But yes, I will talk about that in you know, momentarily. Okay, goodbye. The sack, the bag, procured. Let's go. All right, y'all. Time to get to this bag. It is, it is whiffing much different than anything I'm used to, right? I can't identify any of these smells. They're just smelling much different than obviously like Burger King or McDonald's, which my white ass always gets. Little tin foil half moon. I bet you can already know what's in there. It's a pretty easy guess, I'd say. Got ourselves some basmati rice, of course. Like I said, I'm not getting carbs. Who's getting carbs? I'm not. I, I'm not getting carbs. Ooh, that's crazy. That's way more than I thought I was gonna get. That's right, right, da. And this is the non-veg platter that I got, which basically means meat platter. So I don't know why they don't just call it a meat platter because it's all meats. Uh, there was four different ones and I personally won't remember the names. So sorry out there to anybody who I may offend by not knowing the exact names of all these. But I can definitely tell that the orange or reddish one is tandoori probably. And then the rest are, you know, questionable to me. So I don't know. But we'll figure out we will figure this out as we go that is an ass ton of cilantro by the way which i'm gonna have to deal with all right let's open up this mystery tinfoil half moon and opening it that was a non-issue a non-issue do you get it dad jokes baby we got some non bread here of course can't have some indian food without non bread i feel like bring you in for a closer peek Many meats, non bread, raita, and the rice. I thought it was going to be more yellowish in color, but what else? So, already, I'm ill equipped to handle what's going on here. I know this uh, Indian food is usually like a hand food. Uh, I really am in desperate need of like a spoon and a fork right now, which I didn't receive in the bag. So, this could get a little crazy, a little dicey, but we will show you straight up here. So tandoori for sure. This one is the kebab of some sort. Obviously you could tell it's kind of, it's roasted on a kebab style. I would assume that's like yellow kind of curry in there. I uh, got some carrots and cucumber and onions and rice down there. And then this like fried type chicken. I'm gonna try each one straight up, then I'm gonna dip it in raita, and then I'm gonna make maybe some like uh, little uh, meat rice raita uh, non wraps. But let's try this. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. I love the texture. Quite a bit of spices coming through. Not spicy, but spices. Quite salty. Got the tandoori. Always got that deep. Orangey pink. Reddish exterior. <clears throat> Definitely good. This was a little bit of expensive of a meal. This was, well, with tip. It was 28 with tip. I tipped them five bucks, so $33. So I'm gonna have to ask y'all a favor. Please share this around with your whole entire network of friends. And help me run up the numbers on this because I gotta break even. <laughs> this is definitely a not on budget meal. But I figure, I never tried it before. I never eaten Indian food on the channel. It's worth giving it a go. So what I'm noticing so far, what I'm really noticing so far is that these meats are quite, quite salty. If anybody could tell me exactly what's in Raita that would be greatly appreciated but I know it's a yogurt sauce from what I can tell onions cucumbers cilantro spices Maybe some garam masala in there. I'm wondering if it's supposed to be this soupy. I feel like it's quite loose. I'm wondering if it's supposed to be more tzatziki like. I assume that's exactly how it's supposed to be, but I don't know. I don't have experience. Maybe certain places do things differently too. Maybe they have variations. There's some bone in pieces and some bone out pieces of this. Either way, delicious. Y'all know I like wings. This is just getting very, very sad. Age. This is just getting to be quite savage. But it's good. Cleanse the palate. There's uh, some green sauce here. I'm assuming it's like some sort of a mint. Mint sauce, yeah. 
Well, here's the rice. I really wish. I had a way to eat this. Other than my hands. But hey. Hands is working. The long grains. Make it possible. Embrace the culture, you know? There you go. Uh-oh. The sun broke through. It's such a gray, cloudy day. I just busted through the clouds there. I don't know what it is <clears throat> that I'm tasting in there. Those little, I want to say cardamom seeds. Is what I believe it is. I think. A little non dip. Mmm. That's good. Of course, the bread part of the meal. Would be what I like best. I'm such a bread whore. I swear like any meal I eat or every meal I eat, <laughs> Could and would and should, could and would and should ideally have <laughs> bread in it. All right. So like I said, we got to make a little meat rice raita sandwich. It's only right. necessary I do wish I had known this was going to be so cilantro heavy It's not killing me, but it's noticeably there. It's a difficult one. This is technically quite difficult. Probably say though, of course my white ass would, it's just this more standard piece of fried chicken. Here's the one I like best.
Mm -hmm. Very good dip in the raita. Definitely. I did not anticipate this video to play out this way, to be so technically difficult, and to not be provided cutlery. So I'm going to cut it short right there, pretty much. Now, I have nothing to compare that to. I have very minimal Indian food experiences. Something tells me though, that if somebody else ate this who eats Indian on the regular, would say that this was a subpar experience. Just in terms of the intensity of like how salty a lot of it was, like the meats, kind of over, over salted, I would say. I'd give this like experience like a six out of 10 probably. Uh, I wouldn't go singing in the streets about it for sure. Um, <clears throat> being ill-equipped to handle it obviously made it less enjoyable, but you know, there's parts of it that were delicious. Also by default, just cilantro is my nemesis. So there's that as well. And I did not expect it to be, you know, showered, blizzarded in, in, uh, cilantro. So, I mean, you know, pretty good nonetheless, but I wouldn't find myself craving it. I wouldn't be coming back time and time again type thing. So I'd have to probably go to another place and, and try some different stuff to, to really see if I could get into this type of vibe. But I mean, I do like things like this, like yogurt sauces and the bread and meats. It's just, I don't know if it was executed that well. The bread is really good. Definitely say that. Rice is good, but just wish I could sauce it and have like a spoon or a fork. It would be more enjoyable that way. But anyways hopefully that video wasn't too <laughs> you know all disappointing and all over the place and uh till the next one you know what to do eat good live well stay true